Welcome to the project. This is a follow up project from continuous integration on Jenkins. The name of this project is Jenkins Pipeline as a Code. There are some prerequisites for this project. You should have done continuous integration with Jenkins in our project or you already have some hands on experience. You should have a setup of Jenkins, Nexus, and SonarCube server. About this project, we are going to see how we can automatically create Jenkins jobs. So in our project of continuous integration with Jenkins, we have created all the jobs manually, one by one, and then finally connected them together. In this project, we are going to see a scripted way of creating the entire pipeline. Before we get started with this project, I will take a small session on what is pipeline, how to write it by using Jenkins pipeline DSL. So let's first understand about pipeline as a code in Jenkins. Okay, so let me take you with a little overview of what is pipeline as a code. Some prerequisite, as I discussed, continuous integration with Jenkins project you would have already done or you have some hands-on experience. You should have already the setup of Jenkins, Nexus and SonarCube server. If you don't have, then it's time to set it first and then you can continue with this video. Okay, so what it really is pipeline as a code? It's Jenkins way of setting up pipeline automatically by using a file called as Jenkins file, J capital there. So we can put this file in our source code or we can write it in the Jenkins job itself. Jenkins file really defines the stages in the CI CD pipeline as we create jobs there'll be different stages in the Jenkins file defined. Jenkins file is a text file and it has its own domain specific language, but it's very close to Groovy. But you really don't need to know Groovy to write a Jenkins file. There are two syntax. One is scripted and the other one is declarative. Declarative is the way forward now and we are going to use declarative in this project. Okay, some concepts in the pipeline. First of all, you have pipeline that's going to be the main block and everything inside pipeline will be executed by Jenkins. Nodes or agent, they're both settings. You can define where this pipeline can get executed on which node or on which agent. There are stages where the actual execution happen. In stages, you have steps. The steps could be commands like maven install or git pull or upload artifact to Nexus or any such step that you want to execute from your pipeline. Let's understand the syntax. That's how it looks. So you have pipeline block and ins inside that you have all the other settings. Let's understand all the settings one by one. Pipeline, that's the main block of code. So you say pipeline, two curly braces and everything comes inside your pipeline code. In pipeline, you have things like agent, you can define where the job is going to run. Tools from your global tool configuration, if you have included some tools, then you can mention the tools like Sonar Scanner or Maven or JDK. Environment will be the environment variable and stages will be the steps that we are going to execute in our job. So the agent block will look something like this. Agent you'll have, you'll give the name of the agent the label or you can just say agent any also so it can run any on any node even master or slave and tools you give the name and you mention the tool name that you have included in global tool configuration other things in pipelines are environment variable so setting variable of value so it can be used in your steps in your stages like in this case you see some nexus variable which we are going to use in our pipeline Stages, that's where the main execution goes. In stages, you have stage, you can have multiple stage, like one stage that clones the source code, other stage that is going to run Maven build, another stage which can publish the artifact to Nexus. And like that, you can have stages to deploy artifact, to do code analysis. You can have n number of stages there. In stage, so you have stages inside that you have stage you can have multiple stage and in stage you have steps this is where you put the 
actual command and also post installation step like probably you want to send email notification or want to archive the artifact something like this stage in parenthesis you give the name of the stage then inside that you have steps like maven install and you can have post installation step like archiving artifact or you can print some message also like echo okay so in devops like everything needs automation even your pipeline is automated with jenkins file so now let's do some hands-on 